Elon Musk is suing OpenAI. Elon Musk is suing OpenAI. Elon Musk sues OpenAI. Elon Musk suing OpenAI. Elon Musk's decision to sue OpenAI has sparked controversy in thousands of heated comments, making waves across the digital universe. In this video, we would be discussing the actual details of the lawsuit, uncovering the true motives driving Elon Musk to take legal action against the very company he once nurtured. How much did he actually contribute to starting the company, and is he really going to win the case? Let's find out. Elon Musk has thrown down the gauntlet against OpenAI and its brain trust. Musk, who played a key role in birthing OpenAI, now claims the organization has strayed from its noble mission and veered into the realm of profit-hungry partnerships, especially since cozying up with Microsoft. But why the legal tango? Musk isn't just doing this for kicks. He's got some serious concerns simmering in the back of his brain. Musk says his vision for OpenAI was all about developing this grand thing called Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, to uplift humanity. Think of robots that could do everything from folding laundry to solving global crises. But now, Musk's worried that OpenAI has traded its superhero cape for a business suit, chasing dollars instead of dreams. When I first heard of the case, I asked myself, with what authority does Elon decide to sue OpenAI? The obvious answer is that he was a founding member of the now very reputable company. Maybe by knowing how much exactly he contributed in terms of funding, ideas, and what have you. We can understand him or then not be biased when we rather conclude that he is overreacting to the situation. Elon Musk's involvement with OpenAI has been nothing short of impactful, both in terms of financial contributions and strategic guidance. But there is a little issue with how much he actually invested in OpenAI. Elon Musk's involvement often garners attention akin to that of a significant event. However, amidst the admiration for his innovative endeavors, Recent developments surrounding his contributions to OpenAI have raised questions. Initially touted as a substantial donor, with reports suggesting a contribution nearing $100 million, Musk found himself puzzled by the subsequent valuation of OpenAI at a staggering $30 billion market cap. This discrepancy prompted him to reassess his initial statement during a CNBC interview, where he clarified his contribution to be closer to $50 million. In contrast, OpenAI's perspective sheds light on the discrepancy. According to the organization, Musk proposed announcing a monumental $1 billion funding commitment, evoking anticipation of substantial financial backing. However, a closer examination of OpenAI's financial records reveals a lesser sum attributed to Musk, totaling less than $45 million. Whatever amount he invested, Musk was a co-founder of OpenAI, and of course, even if it's $45 million, that's no small change. His significant financial backing played a crucial role in jumpstarting OpenAI's ambitious projects aimed at advancing artificial intelligence for the betterment of humanity. And so, I guess Elon, being a founding member, felt he was the ideal person to know when OpenAI has deviated from their goal. Back in 2015, when OpenAI was just a baby AI whisperer, Musk was all in. He saw the potential risks of AI gone rogue, like a sci-fi movie plot waiting to unfold, and thought, hey, these guys get it. But fast forward to 2018, and things got a bit complicated. Musk started feeling like OpenAI was straying from its noble path. Instead of being the cape-wearing defenders of humanity, they seemed to be dabbling in stuff that Elon wasn't too keen on. Suddenly, OpenAI wasn't just fighting the robot uprising. They were wading into political and social debates. And soon, Microsoft swooped in like a hawk eyeing its prey, acquiring a whooping 49% of OpenAI. And here are all the things he thinks are going wrong with OpenAI. If you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and flick on those post notifications to keep up with all our fresh content. We're thrilled to have you join our community. Welcome aboard. When Elon Musk sued the company, along with the co-founders Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, he said it's all about a breach of contract and fiduciary duty. Sounds serious, right? But here's the kicker. The contract isn't some fancy, signed piece of paper. Nope, it's more like an unwritten agreement, a digital handshake if you will. Musk claims that the OG OpenAI crew set out to make Artificial General Intelligence, AGI, to save the world. Noble cause, right? But now, he says, they've gone all corporate, cozying up to Microsoft like it's a Silicon Valley summer camp. So what's he after? He wants OpenAI to get back to its roots, to be a research lab again, not just another cash cow for Microsoft. To understand why Elon might be waving his anti-Microsoft flag, let's take a trip down memory lane. Microsoft. Yes, the company with a rap sheet longer than Elon's list of futuristic projects. They've been in more courtrooms than a seasoned lawyer. In the 90s, the US government took on Microsoft. The accusation? 
monopolistic practices in the PC operating systems market. They won, and Microsoft got slapped with a verdict for monopolization. But there's more. Across the pond in Europe, Microsoft faced big fines. Hundreds of millions of euros were thrown around. And don't even get me started on the browser wars. Now, fast forward to today. OpenAI, the brainchild of Elon Musk and friends, is cozying up to Microsoft like it's the cool kid in school. But Elon's not having it. OpenAI is experiencing a shift in power dynamics, with Microsoft snagging a permanent seat on the board. It's like inviting your nemesis to your birthday party and giving them the biggest slice of cake. Now Microsoft's fingerprints are all over OpenAI's projects, but the code locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Kind of like giving the keys to your Lamborghini to your ex and hoping they won't take it for a joyride. But what does OpenAI have to say in response to Musk suing them? Well, OpenAI ain't backing down from the battle with Elon Musk. Nope, they're throwing some serious shade back at the Tesla Titan. So here's the tea. OpenAI claims Elon actually gave them a thumbs up on the whole for profit idea. Yup, they dropped a bombshell blog post with email receipts from way back then. In a surprising turn of events, OpenAI pulled back the curtain, unveiling Elon Musk's past emails which shed light on his stance regarding the organization's shift towards profitability. In these electronic snippets, Elon and OpenAI acknowledge the necessity of a for-profit model to secure vital resources for their ambitious AGI pursuits. They grappled with the realization that achieving AGI demands colossal computational power, far beyond what they initially envisioned. Elon, ever the visionary, pushed for a for-profit entity. In those messages, Elon was all like, hey, let's merge OpenAI with Tesla, talk about a plot twist. According to OpenAI's blog, back in 2017, Elon and the brainiacs at OpenAI shook hands and decided, let's go for the gold and make some moolah with a for-profit entity. They had their eyes set on creating AGI, the holy grail of artificial intelligence. In their blog post, OpenAI said, when starting OpenAI in late 2015, Greg and Sam had initially planned to raise $100 million. Elon said in an email, we need to go with a much bigger number than $100 million to avoid sounding hopeless. I think we should say that we are starting with a $1 billion funding commitment. I will cover whatever anyone else doesn't provide. They further stated that in December 2018, Elon sent them an email saying, even raising several hundred million won't be enough. This needs billions per year immediately or forget it. Yet, another email forwarded by Elon suggested that OpenAI should attach to Tesla as its cash cow, commenting that it was exactly right. But here's where things get spicy. Musk wanted the lion's share of the pie. He was like, give me that equity, initial board control, and oh, make me CEO while you're at it. Classic Elon, aiming for the stars, or in this case, the boardroom throne. But alas, it wasn't meant to be. OpenAI wasn't about to let one dude call all the shots. Nope, they stood firm on their mission, believing that no single person should hold all the cards. And just like that, the battle lines were drawn. Your tricks. It's a high-profile case with great public interest, she says, sounding like she's watching the drama unfold on the big screen. So what's Musk's endgame? Elon Musk's motivations for suing OpenAI may be multifaceted, with potential elements of disappointment, a desire for control, and concern for the organization's mission. Musk's initial involvement and substantial investment in OpenAI reflect a commitment to advancing artificial intelligence for societal benefit. However, the company's transition from a non-profit to a for-profit entity, along with its significant increase in valuation, may have left Musk feeling sidelined and perhaps even betrayed. But is Musk actually poised to win the case? So right now, we're diving into the legal abyss of the case to see if Musk actually has any chances of winning it. As we are well aware, Elon's claiming that OpenAI switched gears from a cuddly non-profit to a profit-chasing machine. But hold your hats, because proving this in court is like trying to land a SpaceX rocket on a postage stamp. Legal Eagle O'Brien says, even if OpenAI's mission has changed, that doesn't mean Musk has a solid legal case. Ouch, that's gotta sting more than a crash landing. To win this cosmic battle, Elon's gonna need more than just a few tweets and a spaceship full of hope. See, Elon's gotta prove there was some secret handshake agreement, that OpenAI would stay all warm and fuzzy, and that their sudden pivot left him considerably stranded. And to top it off, he's gotta show that this switcheroo caused him some serious pain. But here's the kicker. Where's the injury, Elon? Sure, maybe OpenAI veered off course, but did it really ding Elon's bank account or tarnish his Twitter rep? What do you think, too? Can Elon come out on top in this intergalactic legal showdown? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. So, we have taken a wild ride through the tangled web of tech and legal battles. From Musk's Twitter tirades to OpenAI's mission morph, it's been a saga worthy of a blockbuster. 
but the adventure doesn't stop here. Want to dive deeper into Elon's mind-bending projects? In our next video, we're delving into Elon Musk's massive new brain chip. Get ready to explore the cutting-edge world of neural technology and find out if Elon's vision is actually shaping the future. See you in the next video.